with regards to the Amazon seller fees, what are the factors that determine this fee apart from product price and product size? This is also a really good question. And I actually just recorded a new podcast episode specifically about Amazon seller fees that should go out hopefully tomorrow, if not on Monday, just finishing editing that up. So I would highly recommend you listen to that podcast episode. I explained very much in detail how the fees are calculated and, and, you know, different weights and sizes of things. But I'll also show you guys this right here on this call, a really good blog article about this comes from Jungle Scout. So right here on Jungle Scout's website, I will also post this in the Facebook group if you do want to go through and read it. This is how the fees are calculated. So they break down really nicely right here. You can see what the seller fee is, which is also referred to as the referral fee. If you're using the uh, Amazon FBA calculator, you might see re referral fee or selling fee, same thing. But you can see for different categories, there's different percents of selling fees. So it's not only just based on the price, it's also based on the category. So it, and it can change depending on the price of the product. So for example, let's look at this one right here, furniture and decor. So the fee is 15%. This is the seller fee, remember, for the portion of the total sales price up to $200 and then 10% for any of the portion of the total sales price over $200, greater than $200. So that's kind of a, a unique one. There's some other ones like that. Beauty, same sort of thing. But notice like this one is kind of flip-flopped. So some of them are interesting. So this one, the fee is lower for any product that's less than $10, but it's 15% for any product greater than $10. This is something that I do talk about in the podcast episode that's really interesting to understand because if you were selling a beauty product and you were targeting a price of, let's say, $9.99, you would be under $10. So you would only be paying this 8% fee for your seller fee. Now, if you were saying, okay, I have a beauty product and I did my market research and I want to sell it for $10.99, well, now you're going to get hit with this 15% fee. So knowing this alone, just for your product and the product category it falls under, this is this could be really important for your pricing strategy. The difference between charging $9.99 versus $10.99 is an 8% fee versus a 15% fee, which is almost double. So that's something, like I said, I go over in the podcast a little bit more in depth, but something to, to keep in mind. Again, this article is really good. It goes through selling fees right there at the top. And then down here below, it goes over the FBA fees. So this is the fulfillment fees for shipping. So depend, it depends on the dimension of the packaging, small, large, well, on the standard, they just have a smaller, a large categorization. Then on oversized, they have small, medium, large, and special. So it's de it's dependent on the size of the product itself, how big it is, and then the weight as well. So you'll notice, like if you if you were to look right here on this article, you've got large standard size products, ten ounces or less. Then you've got small standard size products, ten ounces or less. So these two are the same weight weight is the same, same weight. They're just different sizes as far as how big the box is. And so those are the two starting fees or fees for those two sizes of boxes. So yeah, that's, you can, you can come here and like really kind of get an idea of, of what the fees are going to be, but the FBA calculator shows you this as well. It, I, it won't show you, at least I don't think it will really show you like what, what, category you're falling under. Um, but you can just use like this type of table to see. So if you're getting a fee of, you know, 319, you can be probably pretty sure knowing like what your product is, you can be pretty sure, okay, it's probably falling under this large standard size item that's 10 ounces or less.